I look so damn pretty right now. Oh my god. I can't even stop looking at myself, honey. I'ma just tell you right now, we manifesting our best life, alright? We ain't here to play no games. We ain't here to give a fuck about what people say. I'ma I'm calm down. We here to manifest our best life. What is up guys? What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I know you missed your girl. I know. I know I've been MIA. And I know y'all probably like, damn, we subscribed to her and she ain't even post nothing. She don't care about us. But I do. I do, honey. It's just been, I've been going through healing. I've been going through a self journey, some evolution, all right? And today I'm here to help you guys figure out why your manifestations probably ain't been working, okay? There's a million and one videos on the internet of, uh, you know, manifest this. This is how you do it. Do some journaling. Make a mood board. I haven't really seen a lot talking about why they ain't working. So today, hunty, I'm here to keep it real with y'all. And I'm here to share my tips on why they probably aren't working and what you can do to fix it. Now, I'm not a guru. I'm not a spit. I'm not a spirit guide, okay? Look, I'm coughing, they're like, you ain't no spirit guide. I ain't a spirit guide, okay? I'm just here to share my experiences, my tips, take them take how you want, but I'm here to keep it real. But um, yes, I'm here to just share some tips with y'all, and um, yeah, I don't know, I just wanna talk. That's all, I just wanna hear my voice. So I'm here to talk with y'all. Now, if you guys want to know why your manifestations probably haven't been working, honey, then just keep on watching. <laughs> For some reason, every time I try to film, hopefully this mic's on, <laughs> this little dog. She just thinks it's her show. All right, well, I guess we're getting started. So it's been a minute since I have filmed a video. We all know that. Um, I think the last upload I had was me talking about, oh, it was the uh, photo shoot video. But before that, it was kind of talking about life and uh, all the stuff I was going through throughout the last year. So, I want to take time to actually thank you guys for commenting on that video and opening your hearts as well, kind of sharing your stories, your experiences, because for one, I never expected that, and two, I'm just glad that I've kind of started to create a platform where you guys do feel comfortable um, talking with me and sharing stories and reaching out. and. I just think it's a beautiful thing and I'm just like a normal girl, you know, trying to navigate this thing called life with no role models, I guess. Not role models, but I would say no specific guidance, all right? And that's a scary thing. And I don't I, I don't know why I'm holding the mic this time. I feel like it's a little bit more personal. You get to like hear all the all the little sounds, all right? <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> Jesus. Um, I'm gonna get a sip of water and um, we're gonna dive into today's video. So go ahead and grab your tea, grab your water, grab whatever you need, honey, your little Doritos, your Cheetos, your hot Cheetos, um, your nerds, whatever snack you want, because we're going to get personal and we're just going to go ahead and just talk about these. Um, you could classify this as an advice video, but take it with a grain of salt. Like I said, I'm not a guru. I'm not a spiritual... Um, guidance person I don't know okay I just know the things that were stopping me from manifesting the things that I wanted so I figured why not go ahead and share that with you guys today I already know like I mentioned before there's been so many helpful videos on there on how to manifest things so if this is a new realm for you check out some videos just type in how to manifest like there's a million and one videos out there. But this is going to be a video about why 
possibly your manifestations haven't been working. So I'm going to go ahead and share my five experiences um, or the five causes of why I was just having a mental block and having trouble following my journey and following my path. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Are you ready, Willow? Are you ready to get this journey started? Can I have a high five? Give me a paw. You don't have to move. All right, perfect. All right, so <laughs> now that Willow has started this video, let's go ahead and dive in. So reason one of why your manifestations probably haven't been working for you and your law of attraction is stress. Now, for one, Stress could be caused by so many things. For me, it resolved around work. It resolved around family. It resolved around... Resolved. It evolved or... <laughs> what? It, it was circled around work, family, my career, my health, and my finances. So, when it came to work, I found myself driving to a job I hated, all right? And I think a lot of us have done that in our lives. We get up in the morning and we're at a job that's probably amazing. It pays the bills. You don't have to struggle. Um, even if you are, I mean, that's another thing. But we find ourselves in the car, riding to work, just dreading it even from the moment our alarm goes off. And I was in a job where I got to that point. I would sit in the car and I would cry before every shift towards the end, okay? Towards the end of working there because like that's just how over it, my, my heart wasn't in it, it wasn't my passion. And um, yeah, it was a cubicle job, so. It was very exciting. Uh, <laughs> so that could be one thing. Um, now, when it comes to your career, let's dive into the career part of that. Um, if you do find yourself feeling that way, um, going to your job, it's probably not the path you're supposed to be on. If it's not inspiring joy and making you feel motivated in the morning, I mean, the only thing I could say is look for your passion that's what you need to do now another thing is with the stress if you are in a career that you are working on your passion um and you feel like it's not where you need to be i would just recommend kind of revisiting why you are deciding to go on this path um you know what you love about it and what you're struggling with about it now it could be related to outside factors as well. Like I mentioned before, if there is family issues going on and you kind of feel disconnected from your family or there's some kind of rift going on between you guys, that could be another thing that's kind of taking over your mental and you're probably reflecting on that situation a lot. So family life is another thing that of course causes stress in so many of us. But um, we all know that. We all know not everything is perfect and relationships need to be worked on and sometimes it's about letting go. Another thing that would be causing me stress would be my health. So I was about 50 pounds heavier and um, I, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I knew I wanted to start getting into modeling and um, just overall being more out there and I was struggling with migraines and so many other things that just, I don't know, it was stressing me out. I turned to food and I didn't really want to leave the house. So my health was another reason why I was stressed. And obviously if you're stressed, it, it's not good for your health, okay? <laughs> so I had to really set, take the time to reflect on a few things and started getting it more into fitness and also nutrition. Now I'm not saying diets and extreme exercise. What I'm saying is balance. Um, I started eating more foods that would bring life into me, like fruits and vegetables. No, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. I did want to try, maybe I'll do a video, but after eating fruits and veggies and things like that, I would just feel more energized, more awake, and my body was loving it. 
so <laughs> um that's one thing that i did to kind of get that in order but as we all know like i mentioned before finances um so like i said if you're driving to that job you hate even though it's a good paying job and you're stressed out about your bills or your debts um it can cause a lot of stress and that is totally understandable and i feel like at some point or another everybody has kind of been stressed about their finances and um i just knew for myself personally i wanted to kind of get a control on that have multiple streams of income coming in and just see what i could do to kind of relieve stress so one of my goals was to kind of find some way to make an income where i would go to sleep at night and i'd wake up and there'd be more money in my account so whatever that is for you think about it because when you wake up and there's more money in your account and you feel like you didn't really have to do much i mean you'll it'll take a little bit, bit of stress away i'll say this it'll take a little bit of stress away finances is one other thing that definitely stresses a lot of people out but I'm going to just tell you one thing. It'll get better because I will go ahead and sing you this Money Mantra song that I heard. And I sing it all the time. I don't know all the words. I will probably insert it in this video. But if you're struggling with feeling optimistic about your finances and you're stressed about that, go ahead and sing this. All right. Ching, 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 go to money tree. And every time it ching, money comes to me. It all flows in so abundantly from the top right, left, and up under me. Wave, wave, wave on my money wave. Money in, money out, money saved. Flowing in and out, all debt is paid. I don't know. Okay, I'll put it in here because, y'all, when I sing this mantra, it just puts me in a vibe. It puts me in a good mood because I'm just like, you know what? This is a moment I'm having right now, but I know good things are coming. Okay. Okay. So now the second reason, that was probably like eight reasons, but I'm breaking these down in categories. So the second reason why your manifestations probably aren't working for you is the fact that you don't know what you want. Now, in a day and age where there's so many influences from, you know, people telling you what you should do, what you feel like you should be doing, and what you're doing currently, it can really just create a conflict within your own mind. Um, so there's no clear vision for your goals. And with that, it's like, what are you trying to manifest? You don't know. You're kind of just going with whatever's given to you instead of asking for what you want and it coming to you. There's a difference. So once you figure this out, the universe will kind of begin to reveal all of those things that you are asking for. Um, and it's going to create some type of clarity in your mind of, you know what, this is what I want. And so every day when you wake up, you're going to be taking little tiny steps to kind of go in that direction. And you're going to be attracting all of those things that you are trying to attract. So one way to kind of clear your mind of all the chaos, all the distraction um, is, of course, meditation. For some people, meditation doesn't really work. Um, I was one of those people in the beginning where I would try to listen to a guided meditation and I would end up taking a nap and next thing you know it was like an hour later or whenever the video ended and an ad would come on so I would feel very discouraged I would feel so discouraged um, when it came to trying to meditate so I started doing um, going out in nature and I started uh, realizing that you know we're just one tiny small speck in this universe and all the problems we're dealing with right now i mean it's gonna be irrelevant it's just a moment in time um so yeah like i said i would get out in nature um i started to actually do grounding which is basically going outside in the grass in the forest wherever you feel comfortable wherever you feel like you will gain the most peace and i would take my shoes off and really just sit in the grass put my feet the soles of my feet onto mother earth 
I sound probably like the biggest pothead ever, but I haven't smoked weed for two weeks, so this is coming from a clear mind, all this advice, <laughs> but I would just go outside and absorb the energy from the earth and realize, like I said, we are just one small tiny speck. Even if you think about it, honey, I shrunk the kids. I mean, that's just the greatest analogy ever because... I mean, there's even tiny, small life in the grass. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. You guys, this is just my thoughts. I felt like this would be a good video. I don't know. Don't judge me. But, um, yeah, I just felt like, wow, you could just feel the energy of nature. And obviously, we all are in, like, a home. Well, not all. Some people are struggling. Um... But we kind of forget that, you know, there's actual life everywhere out there. Um, and some problems we're dealing with aren't like that for everybody. So um, really just grounding myself out in nature was one way that I just would be able to release. Um, and really clear my mind and just think about things I would want goals, plans, ideas. Some of my greatest ideas would come from there. Um, and overall, I just feel better. It was just a great way to kind of start ending my day. So that's what I would start doing. If you are struggling with finding what you want, like I said, um, try some of those tips, see if it works for you, and uh, let me know how it goes. <laughs> so reason number three, honey, of why your manifestations probably aren't working for you is outside distractions. So we get people's opinions here and there every single day telling us what to do. You should do this. You should do that. Why are you doing this? X, Y, Z, honey. Outside influence is distracting. I mean, there's so many people's opinions at the end of the day. <laughs> But whose opinion matters most, honey? Yours, okay? Don't forget that. So I realized that other people's opinions were really kind of making my mind second guess my intuition. And now that I'm more clear minded, I realize that the only opinion that matters most is my own because at the end of the day, I have to go to bed with myself, honey. I have to go to bed with my own thoughts, um, my own regrets, and my own what-ifs, okay? And uh, we can't let other people kind of sway us. And um, yes, honey, if anything, just trust your intuition, please. Your intuition is there for a reason. And another reason why I say outside influence is probably distracting you is if you participate in gossip, or drama and honey I will tell you one thing even if you aren't the person starting the gossip or drama if people are coming to you and bringing you that energy it really starts to get draining and um, yeah it's really not good at all to participate in things like that I realize now that I would want to be around more people that we're sharing their light, that we're sharing their humor, that we're sharing their experiences. Um, and it really would just make me leave the conversation feeling more energized. So yeah, I stopped really even being a listening ear for drama and gossip because I don't know, I wouldn't want somebody talking about me like that. So yeah, I'm not going to continue the cycle, right? So yeah, <laughs> that's probably reason number three of why your manifestations aren't working, participating in drama, gossip. Um, those are all really low energy sources, really energy suckers, like energy vampires for real. And we don't want that. We don't want that at all. All right, so let's go on to reason number four now. Reason number four of why I felt like my manifestations were not working was because, excuse me, was because I wasn't setting boundaries, okay? Now, boundaries are very important, okay? Boundaries are very important, and if you haven't really sat with yourself and thought about what are my boundaries, definitely do so. Please do so. What I realized about myself when I didn't set any boundaries 
was that I ended up being in situations where I would have rather said no. This is a really great example. Um, I do photography and I would get people that would want to do shoots or ask for like some collaborative thing and or a trade kind of thing where you know there was no compensation. Um, one example was I did a fashion show and they didn't want to pay me for it and I felt like the opportunity was better than just saying no and then after shooting it I kind of felt used because I mean they it didn't take me anywhere I felt like it was just like okay we got these photos for free and um, yeah I don't know I just kept finding myself in situations where I would have rather put my energy somewhere else and just have said no and turned down that opportunity or that business proposal or you know what I mean just things like that that you would rather have said no to and then when you're in that situation or living whatever obligation you did make you're freaking miserable and um, at the end of the day it's not worth it you can be putting that energy towards a creative passion um, you could be putting that energy towards something else to kind of help you grow and go along your path um, I think one thing that I want to mention of why this is so important to set boundaries is because if you don't then you're just gonna end up feeling like you're undervalued and when you feel undervalued you're gonna kind of correlate that to like a very low self-worth which obviously isn't true you are no less of a person when you don't set boundaries but the feeling starts to arise more and more and it kind of makes you feel some type of way it makes you feel like eh, I'm really not that important when you are always remember that you are very important your ideas are important and um, the things that you share with the world are very important as well so setting boundaries um, like I said, not even participating in drama, that's another thing. That's one boundary you can set for yourself. You can say, hey guys, I don't really like participating in this anymore. Like, eh, I know you're going through this, but I need to take a step back. Whatever the situation, I can't even run fake scenarios in my head anymore. But that's just what I'm saying for my advice. So yes, set boundaries for yourself, people. Don't be the person that gets stepped on, walked all over, talked to any type of way. No, even if you're introverted, I mean, I call myself an outgoing introvert because I mean, I kind of mind my business. I stay to myself a little. But then when you get to know me, like you guys know me, I don't shut up. <laughs> so um, set boundaries for yourself. Don't get stepped on. Don't get used. And um, you'll feel a lot better at the end of the day because you will know what you want to deal with and what you don't want to deal with anymore. And that's a really empowering thing. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to go get some water. I, well, I didn't have to go, but like I needed some water because like I'm a really thirsty person right now. But um. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm having too much fun feeling this right now. <laughs> but um, I wanted to go ahead and end reason number five on this note because I felt like it was the most important of them all of why my manifestations weren't working, why I was feeling so lost, why I was like, oh my gosh. And it's kind of an accumulation of everything I've said already with these other four reasons. But... Um, Reason number five. Are y'all ready? Reason number five of why my manifestations weren't working and probably why yours aren't either is because I was being afraid to be my authentic self. And when you're not being your authentic self, honey, your light is being dimmed, all right? And um, you're gonna just feel incomplete at the end of the day like you're hiding behind a character or a mask um why did I say character like that I don't know a reason why you probably are feeling like you can't be your authentic self is because you feel like the way others perceive you is more important than you being you obviously we have social media everywhere we have the internet um we have so many things to kind of connect with people and reach 
a larger audience on a totally different scale than we used to be able to decades ago. Um, so human interaction has changed, it's evolved, it's grown, it's been different, and um, it's more direct. With the whole world online, obviously, it's hard to kind of really be your authentic self, genuinely. And then you see the people that are, or so it may seem, um, you see the people that are tr living their true authentic life, their true authentic self, and they're shining, they're beaming. Everybody's attracted to this energy because it's like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be this person. Um, and I kind of found myself feeling that way where in reality, I'm like, actually, no, I'm really dope. And the people that actually do know me, the people that actually do know Yellow Jade, the people that actually know even my real name, honey, like, they know me. They know how amazing I am, and they, that's all that matters to me, like, at the end of the day, yeah. I don't know how many times I'm about to say that. So, like I said, if you're having trouble accepting your authentic self or just emulating just your authentic self and living your best life break free from other people's perceptions of you break free from your own mind of feeling like you can't because once you do that you will be able to accept your flaws and grow and realize that you are your most beautiful self when you do accept your flaws and you continue to grow and evolve through that continue to learn continue to share love and lead with love and um, we get caught up so much in just the daily life and the fear and the doubt that is kind of emulated into us or instilled into us just from other people and their perceptions and what they've said about us or what they've done to us um, but once you accept your authentic self it's the most beautiful evolution it's the most beautiful transformation that you could do not for anybody else but for you so yeah I think at the end of the day for the 80th time I might have to put a counter for how many times I've said that <laughs> but um, I think through it all we're all a work in progress and uh, hopefully this video has helped you guys understand that you're not alone in these fearful thoughts, these thoughts of doubt, these thoughts of uh, low self-worth, these thoughts of what am I going to do tomorrow, and um, all the worries that you may have. Because we're all kind of going through this thing together, and um, yeah, we'll all get through it. We're all here to grow, we're all here to learn, we're all here to evolve, and um, we're all here to just lead with love. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I waited a couple weeks to try to film this because I wasn't exactly sure what I did want to say to you guys. I wanted to do a different video completely, but... Um, I don't know this was kind of scary for me to sit down here and film so I was like you know what it's scary why am I fe feeling fear maybe because this is important for people to know and um, hopefully this video has helped at least one of you out there uh, and hopefully these tips have helped you um, I hope I just hope I just hope that one of these has helped one of you guys and um, yeah I just kind of want to start a community where we are here to uplift each other share some laughs do some funny videos do some beauty videos whatever but um, I think I'm gonna start doing more real videos like this where I kind of just sit down and talk to you guys share some tips or some life experiences and help you guys get through it as well it's very difficult trying to live life and be an adult <laughs> i'm gonna use it with, with quotes because you know i still eat pizza lunchables and things like that <laughs> and cereal for dinner occasionally but um i just felt like you know what let's go ahead and open this conversation up so if you guys have any other tips 
go ahead and comment them down below or any type of stories or experiences. Uh, let's get the conversation going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, please comment down below. Just kind of open a conversation, you know what I mean? Grow a little community, grow a little happy healing family. So <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. Willow dipped out a long time ago. She's actually passed out on the floor right now. So yeah, I guess that means this video is long as hell. But <laughs> anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this and just remember to shine your light, be your true authentic self, and continue to grow. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I'm happy to be back on here and um, I'm excited to just continue to share my journey with you guys. I love you. Thank you for coming to this broadcast. I love you with all my heart. Thank you. Have a good one. Goodbye. How <laughs> many accents should I try to do for this outro? Okay. Um, um, thank you guys so much for... Ew, no. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, it's just... It makes my heart hot. It makes my heart feel so full and warm and full of love and I'm excited to be able to share this with you guys. It's hard for me to kind of transition the accent into British. Hopefully it's like a little good. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good time. See you in the... <laughs> See you in the next one. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you.